Ok YouTube, let's learn how to delete individual rows here using the simplest possible approach and that is with IDs. Sure, from my SQL playlist on my channel you know that we can delete many things here using combination of different columns but still you need to type a lot and think about structure of your uh, command dedicated for removal of things but with ID you are pretty much sure that you will get the job done without too much errors. Of course when you are messing around with database with tables it's always nice to have a copy of it even if you are when you are practicing okay. So yeah we will use IDs. Right uh, we will save we will work into new file like delete.php okay here we are. Now let's remove something what we don't need from here, okay? And we need obviously to change actual command. So delete uh, from table people in this case. Let me say I'm gonna delete John here at place 13 because that's like a, no, sorry, 12 because that's like a double information. A duplicate we don't need it so we are trying to clear like our database our table so delete from people where ID equals 12 and we don't need to use here any kind of quotes this is just integer so the thing will work right after that because this is just a command and now we need to check if everything is fine we will use if statement and MySQL query to issue it issue our SQL command. So MySQL I query and that thing demands uh, actual connection. In our case just connection, simple stuff and actual SQL query. Uh, sorry command. And I think we are cool. So let's print when operation is done, when everything is fine, let's print for example something totally generic SQL command OK and you can go into great details here when you're messing around with your CMS with uh, custom information but I just don't have those kind of ideas right now you know uh, so yeah uh, let's end that command right here so that's that's pretty much it and we need to have a backup operation if something is wrong for example if we issue this command couple of times and they will say echo mm, SQL error something generic or like um, that row already deleted or something like that <coughs> sorry who cares SQL error and let's connect that with um, actual error if it happens from system so we have custom error plus generic error so MySQL I error Okay, and when you are working with errors, you want to know about what kind of connections we are talking about. So, connection, and I think that we are pretty much fine right now. Save and let's go to that file. Delete.php, enter. Connection successful, SQL command OK. So, basically, I also need to check now results what was it HTML report and there you go so you can also use like range of results from 13 to, to 15 let's say and of course we need to mess around with pure MySQL command let me see uh, where ID between what was it 13 and 15 okay now we can also use delete from people and that thing will totally delete everything but let's just say that you want to mess around with specific range because you have I don't know 10,000 rows in your database in your table so save and delete delete.php where is that thing connection successful one level back refresh and there you go, no data anymore. So that's about it. In the next tutorial, we're gonna talk about update. Okay, but unfortunately, I don't have anything right here because I was stupid. So I need to go a couple of levels back 
and uh, I need to find that, where is that thing, open, I need to find that multiple insert if everything is there, well no, so I didn't save basically my multiple inserts, so let's just run this script couple of times and then, I don't know, we'll have at least three same lines to work with, so what was it, multi insert, php, multi insert dot php, Connection successful, refresh, 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 and we'll have probably four lines to work with, uh, refresh, and there you go. So yeah, at least I have same stuff. So in the next tutorial, as I said, we're gonna update, well, something from here. Thank you for watching and see you next tutorial.